Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vex here bringing a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about something that's pretty important something that's been going on in the community in the last few days and I'm sure most of you know what I'm going to be talking about and that is going to be Thrust Nation but before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit about the gameplay basically it's just two games I played in uh, earlier today I ended up going off in both of them so I thought why not put them together and try and make a pretty sick gameplay so yeah that's uh, that's all about the gameplay one to talk about. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into the topic here. It's something that the community has been going nuts over over the past, I'd say, about three or four days now, and it's something huge in the Call of Duty community. Something that we haven't seen in a while. Basically, if you haven't seen the video from Keemstar, it'll be the top link in the description. And basically, the video is just him talking about the COD community and how he thinks he can fix it and how he thinks that us as a community can fix it ourselves. So, Thrust Nation, what is it? Now, Thrust Nation started out as a community channel idea. Keemstar said, why not make a community channel um, that allows smaller YouTubers to grow to allow them to upload their videos onto this channel so people can help themselves grow. He ended up looking at the biggest Call of Duty YouTubers are on YouTube and he realized something. He realized a common denominator and that was them being on the team. So what he decided to do was he decided to make this thing called Thrust Nation. He changed it from a community channel to a team. Now, who's on this team? Well, from what I can tell, it's just a bunch of smaller YouTubers with something that he claims is the X Factor. Now, the X Factor is something I presume to be making them stand out from the rest of the crowd. Something that they do is funny. Something that they do is interesting. The way that they make their videos. Something that makes them stand out from the crowd. Something that makes them a great entertainer. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking at this point, yeah, well, I think that I create good content, and I think that I could be, uh, and I think that I'm unique, and I think that maybe I have a shot at this. Well, if you do, that's absolutely great. He's accepting all sorts of people, people, people with 50,000 subscribers, people with 200 subscribers. It's just a huge range, and I think it's great. So, how do you get onto this if you feel that you have what it takes? What you need to do is, you need to send them your quote-unquote best video. Now, this is something that you think is your best content, the best video you've ever made. Um, now, bearing in mind, this channel is for Call of Duty channels only, so keep that in mind when submitting your post. Now, what you need to do from there is you need to go to their YouTube channel. Just search up Thrust Nation on the YouTube search, and it will literally be one of the top results. Go there, go to their about, and it outlines exactly what you need to do in order to submit your post or submit your video for you to get, for you to have a chance of getting on Thrust. Now, will Thrust Nation work? Will it succeed? Will it just be something that peters out in a few months? Well, my first initial thoughts are yes, it will work. Now, the reason behind this is because it's got great support from the beginning. He, he advertised, and within 36 hours of him telling people that this was going to happen, he got like 30,000 subscribers, and that's absolutely mental. That's just from one video. That's just from him saying that he was making the channel. Now, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic that's happening, and, and that's one of the main reasons why I think it can work. The next thing is solid YouTubers in this team. I've looked at the recruiting videos, I've looked at some submissions that people have sent in, and I've looked at the people they've accepted. And quite honestly, the people that they've accepted are brilliant. They have something unique about them, they do something that no one else really does. It makes them really stand out from the rest of the crowd. Like, one person that I saw, he, he did absolutely hilarious skits before every video. Another guy dubbed himself uh, Thrust Fatty, and it was hilarious because he played off his own weaknesses to make them a strength, and I think that's fantastic. Another guy started singing his intro and it was just great. One thing they do all have in common, funnily enough, is they all have sort of a skit at the beginning, but that just could be because it's a recruiting video. I don't really know. Now, those two reasons combined, uh, I think, is why this thing could work and why it could succeed. Uh, along with that, he says they're going to continue to recruit people throughout the year and continue to recruit people uh, for as long as this channel goes. Now, I think this is a great idea because it allows as many people as uh, possible to get the opportunity of a lifetime because this is an absolutely huge opportunity. It's not very many times where you can get into a team with 30,000 plus subscribers and for them just to shout you out to make videos. It doesn't happen very often and I think it's a great opportunity. So, for the, the fact of the matter that he's going to, or, and that, well, and the fact of the matter that they are going to continue to accept people, I think it's great and I think it could benefit a lot of people in a lot of ways. That's just another reason why I think it could work. And finally, the last thing it has is experienced leaders. Now, now this is something that's very important. It's something that's very vital to any company. 
Um, whether it's a multi-billion dollar company or a small time company or a YouTube channel, a community channel, a team, having a good leader and a good owner is very, very important. Without a good leader, without a good owner, you don't know which direction to take. You start making silly mistakes. Uh, you know, you, because you're not professional, people don't take you seriously. Now, Keemstar's been on YouTube for about six years. He's one of the oldest guys in the business. He's created videos, like I said, for six years, and he's still going strong. And for those of you who don't know who really know who Keemstar is, he's kind of the Simon Cowell of the Call of Duty community. He brings a bunch of news to light, he does a lot of stuff, and this is his latest project. Now, having said that, he does have a very successful YouTube channel himself called Drama Alert, and uh, because of that, I feel like he knows how to manage a channel, and he knows how to manage someone who's successful. And him alone is just one of the reasons. Now, another person that many of you probably haven't heard of is someone called Malice Mind. Now, I don't know a lot about Malice either, but from the research I've done, he's, uh, he's, he's had uh, quite a lot of opportunities uh, managing big sniping teams. I believe he's been on FaZe, I believe he's been on Obey, and I believe he's just been bounced around all over the place, but in a good way, helping teams grow. So, the fact that he has the experience in YouTube as well, and the experience in the community, and the experience of being on big teams, I think that can only help Thrust Nation rather than hinder it. So all in all, why is this a good thing? Now a lot of people have been saying the Call of Duty community is dying and I'm going to make a whole new video on that coming up in the future um, to give my thoughts on that because this video isn't really for that. This video is just really to give my thoughts on Thrust Nation. Now people who say that, they do have a valid point, but the thing is, this can only help the community in my opinion. The worst thing, the absolute worst thing that can happen with this channel is that they have it for six or seven months and then decide they don't really think it's a good idea and decide not to do it anymore. And if that does happen, you know, no harm, no foul, you know what I mean? Like, sure, it was a great idea while it lasted and sure, some people got big off of it, but, you know, at the worst comes to worst, it just won't happen anymore. But the thing is, it allows smaller YouTubers to get big in the community, which means smaller YouTubers will have more of an ambition to get into YouTube and more people to buy Call of Duty and more people to watch Call of Duty therefore getting a bigger audience therefore making Call of Duty esports great once again so as I said before I'm gonna be uploading another video at uh, some point in the near future about the COD community and about what people have to say about it and uh, I do touch on Thrust Nation a little bit but um, this video was more just concentrated on Thrust Nation now the last thing I want to talk about is people who think this is a bad idea now specifically one person that comes to mind I think his name is 1721 one, or something like that I'll uh, I'll have his at in the video and basically he calls Keemstar out on things he's done in the past and says that Keemstar's a bad person and he's done bad things well yes Keemstar has done bad things in the past but everyone makes mistakes right and everyone can say things that don't really mean or say something as a joke and yeah sure Fine, he said it, uh, what, four years ago as a joke or maybe four years ago when he was, wasn't was thinking clearly? Okay, fair enough. And, and, and people like that, I think that are just jealous because they're not going to have the opportunity to get into the thrust because they don't think their content is good enough or because they've had a falling out with Keemstar. So basically they're slagging him off and slagging the idea of this thing off, calling everyone supporting this fanboys. Personally, yes, I do enjoy Keemstar's video, but that does not make me a fanboy. I just personally think and genuinely think this is a great idea and something that could really benefit the community. Anyway guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Um, the, other, the other thing I want to say is make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what it is and I post a lot of stuff on there, really my thoughts, um, upcoming videos, upcoming streaming times when I decide to stream, which I understand is once in a blue moon, but definitely make sure you follow me on there. Also, check out the links in the description below because I do have discount codes for you guys, surprisingly enough. Um, so make sure you check out those in the description below as well. Um, it can only help you guys. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, refresh your page and give it another try. Anyway guys, this has been your boy Vex, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.